Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gary 204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and doing a redesign for the SD KFZ 2, better known as the Kettenkrad. The Kettenkrad was a vehicle that started off its service as a light tractor for airborne troops. The vehicle was designed to be delivered by Junkers Ju-52 aircraft, though not by parachute. The vehicle had the advantage of being the only gun tractor small enough to fit inside the hold of the Ju-52 and was the lightest mass-produced German military vehicle to use the complex Skratovwerk uh, or something like that, basically the interlapping of uh, interweaved road wheels uh, that most German military half-track vehicles use. The Kettenkrad was a very interesting and one of those derp World War II vehicles. Uh, I don't really see much point to it, um, except for obviously just being able to move field artillery around or very slight artillery pieces around. Uh, other than that, I don't really see much use for it, but apparently it was uh, useful enough to be produced in pretty large numbers. Uh, the Kettenkrad works very simply. You basically have the front of a motorcycle and the back of a tracked vehicle. <laughs> it's it's very weird. It's, I don't know, it's something else, um, but it's interesting nonetheless. The Kettenkrad will make a really good vehicle for like any uh, forward operating bases or anything like that, any front lines where you're going to need, where you have like some kind of seam of our small artillery pieces being towed around or possibly like, you know, just trying to transport troops around. The re main reason I'm doing the Kettenkrad redesign is because I'm going to have a little kind of mini series of doing some vehicles for the, the Goliath mine, which the uh, usually the Kettenkrad was actually uh, deployed with uh, a couple trailers that would basically tow the Goliath and supplies for it and they would actually be able to deploy the, the Goliath so they actually would use this vehicle to move around the battlefield get around quickly so that they can actually go and deploy the Goliath so pretty interesting right there um, anyways let's go and take a look at the design for the um, Kettenkrad and of course we'll move into the tutorial for it so start off with we have the front up here as I mentioned it's basically the front of a motorcycle um, so you get the front, front kind of struts here fender over the wheel um, the handlebars both sides here in the front light, like so. Uh, we have the seat here for the driver, some vents, uh, basically a vent right that would be right there. Uh, the track design, it's kind of got like the, kind of like if you look like at the uh, SD KFC 251 or anything like that, any of those half tracks, they have like the, you know, interlocked wheels and stuff. Obviously at this scale, it's kind of hard to show, uh, but you can kind of get an idea of how that's kind of set up there. Uh, up here we have, uh, you know, some more detailing on the top here, a back seat for a passenger. And back here is basically the trailer um, hitch to where obviously you can hitch up uh, trailers and stuff like that. And I'll be doing some tutorials on some of the trailers that you can connect up and also the Goliath trailer as well. So you can have like this rushing into a battlefield or something to set up and quickly deploy a Goliath track mine or something to take out an enemy position. Um, overall, a really cool vehicle and could have many uses and stuff like that. And um, it's pretty interesting. An overlooked vehicle for sure in World War II. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, uh, layer 1. Alright guys, moving on to our first layer, we have layer 1. So for layer 1 to get started here, we're going to place down a block of coal. After we place down the block of coal, we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame with a cobweb in the item frame on both sides of this block of coal. We then want to go ahead and go and place down a lever on both sides of this block of coal, like that with the levers faced upward like so. Uh, on top of the block of... Er, sorry, we're not going to do that just yet. I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. But after the block of coal, we're going to place down a sandstone top side followed by another brick up down stair on both sides of the top slab, like so. So the front of the stair is facing toward, obviously, the front, so our uh, Ken Krads will be facing that direction, so facing that way like that. We then want to go ahead and uh, take our sandstone top slabs. We're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, and four. Sandstone top slabs back. Uh, behind this, these narrow brick stairs on both sides here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves sandstone stairs and place down one, two, and three sandstone stairs back. Same thing over here, one, two, and three. We're going to go ahead and go to the sides here, place down an item frame on the side of this, uh, these um, sandstone stairs, place on a cobweb in the item frame like that. We're then really going to place down one and two, item frames back, same thing over here, one and two, with uh, some uh, smooth sandstone full blocks in those item frames. Just like that, again on both sides. Once that's done there, we're going to place down an upside down, narrow brick stair on both sides like that on the back of these um, sandstone stairs like so. We also want to place down a wooden trap door coming off these two uh, narrow brick stairs like this and a black banner coming off of, uh, or basically hanging down from these uh, banners like so. 
That right there is gonna do it for layer one. With that, let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, moving on to layer two. For layer two, we're gonna go ahead and start off by going up to the front here. We're gonna place down an upside down sandstone stair on top of this block of coal. We're then gonna go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull on both sides of the uh, sandstone upside down stair. After we have that all finished, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a birchwood fence gate, which we're gonna place down right here directly behind the stair. Once that's done, we're gonna place down a sandstone stair with its back, with its front facing toward the uh, obviously the front of the vehicle, on top of these two, um, uh, nerve brick upside down stairs. Going ahead and going back from these stairs, we're gonna place down one, two, and three nerve brick slabs. Same thing over here, one, two, and three. Uh, in the middle here, we're gonna go ahead and go in between the first nerve brick slabs. We're gonna place down a nerve, uh, sorry, a sandstone stair like this, followed by one and two smooth sandstone blocks back like so. Um, once that's all done there, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, smooth sandstone block. We're going to place down a smooth sandstone block after the nether brick slabs on both sides. A uh, nether brick top slab there in the middle. Coming off the nether brick top slab, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, followed by a wither skeleton skull coming off the cobblestone wall. We also want to go ahead and go to both sides here, place down a stone brick stair, or sorry, a sandstone stair on both sides, and we're going to go ahead and wrap sides around the sandstone stair, like so. After uh, that is all done right there, that is going to do it for layer uh, two. With that, let's move on to our last final layers, layers three through four. All right, so moving on to our last final layers, we have layers three through four. For these layers to go ahead and get started here, we're gonna place down a cobblestone wall that's gonna be on top of this birchwood fence gate like so. We then wanna go ahead and place down an end rod on both sides of this cobblestone wall like that. We then wanna go and place down an item frame uh, coming off the cobblestone wall with a glass block in the item frame like so. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and place down a wooden trap door on top of these two nether brick slabs like this and then in the middle space here we're going to place down a black carpet on top of that sandstone stair. Once that's done we're going to place down a nether brick stair that goes back like this followed by a sandstone stair on both sides. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves smooth sandstone and place down a row of three of smooth sandstone full blocks across. On the back section here we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some black banners. We're going to place down a row of three black banners on the back of these or I should say the side of these sandstone blocks and we're going to go ahead and take some signs and place them down on the sides here of these banners. So kind of tricky, you have to hit it just right and right in the hitbox there and you're able to place down the signs on the sides there. Uh, with that done, we're going to place down a birchwood fence post on top of these uh, sandstone stairs. And then on top of the cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down a sandstone stair with its back facing toward the rear and a stone button on the back of the stair. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of these two birchwood fence posts. We're going to place down a end rod coming off those wither skeleton skulls and we're also going to place down a lever on both sides flick backward like that to connect up with the end rod. After that's all complete that is going to pretty much do it for your SD KFZ. Actually real quick one last thing we do have stone buttons here. Uh, we're going to place down stone buttons on these two smooth sandstone blocks. I almost forgot those uh, but go ahead and add those stone buttons and once you guys have that done you're now done with the SD KFZ um, 2 Ketten Crad. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design for it. It's a cool little vehicle and an overlooked one for sure, but just a fun little vehicle to put in any little battle scenarios you guys got going on. Um, I know you guys like to create those, so, you know, using this could, you know, be a cool little addition to your world or whatever. Um, and everything like that. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy the build. If you guys do use this design, I do so you guys give me proper credit for it. This may think from a sign of the build. To link to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites, just be sure you're proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow. And it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting this type of content. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.